Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Good grief, it is weird for me to say good morning. That I guess I'm <laughs> I actually slept during the night this time. And I didn't record in the middle of the night before going to bed. I'm actually legitimately up for the day. My sleep schedule is weird. Coming at you with First Chronicles chapter 9. A lot of it is more details, names, genealogies. It actually talks about some of the various duties that the Levites had as I discussed in a previous video. There was one particular activity that really caught my attention in First Chronicles 9 and that takes place in verse 33. These are the singers, heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites, who lodged in the chambers and were free from other duties, for they were employed in that work day and night. These heads of the fathers' houses of the Levites were heads throughout their generations. They dwelt at Jerusalem. So the singers, they, like many of the other Levites, had chambers, um, places where they could live, sleep, etc., near the, near the temple and near the tabernacle. That way they could take care of their duties and their responsibilities, essentially from home. It, may, it makes perfect sense. But it's so interesting that out of all the various duties that were assigned to various people, that the singers were, they were free from all other duties, and they were employed in that work day and night. So their sole responsibility was essentially praise and worship. They led praise and worship at all times. They didn't take care of anything else. They didn't do anything else. Their job was praise and worship. Now, I've got to say, just personally speaking, that sounds like an amazing job to me. Your job is to worship God. Your job is to sing His praises. And it says day and night. Part of me wonders if it means that literally. Does day and night simply mean, you know, they do it all the time. This is, what they, this is their function. This is their role. It's what they do. Or does it mean that quite literally like there were shifts where various singers would take over for a few hours here? Then they would take their break to, you know, use a restroom, grab lunch, whatever. And then a new shift would come in, and then they would take their place. And this would even take place, like, throughout the night. Whereas some people would, they would worship during the night, and they'd go to bed and sleep during the day. And then other people would, you know, they would sing and worship during the day, and then they would sleep at night. And so that way there would always be someone doing praise and worship, and there would always be worship going up to God at the temple or tabernacle at all times any time during the day or night there would always be worship going on because they had it in like a shift in like in a very set routine i don't know exactly how that worked but that just sounds really really fascinating to me just of all the like I've mentioned a few times, and I'm sure several people have thought to themselves, wouldn't it be great to have YouTube for a living? And, you know, we kind of look at the bigger YouTubers out there, and we're like, man, that's an awesome way to make a living. From your home, doing what you love, that's pretty incredible. And this verse about worshiping God, and they were exempt from all other duties because that's what they did. That's one more of those, wow, what an awesome job that would be. And it's a cool thought to think that it happened day and night, without ceasing. That's another really, really cool thought. And it just, uh, you know, goals, ambitions, things for the church nowadays to achieve and um, purpose in our hearts to do. I just think that's really, really cool. So those are my thoughts on that. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.